Welcome, welcome everybody back to Nine's Corner. Guys, we are living in some interesting times. <laughs> I was rereading Joseph Campbell's The Power of Myth, where I am in the process of rereading it. And I'm paraphrasing, but one of the points, first points that he makes is that, you know, he doesn't think we're living to learn about the meaning of life. We're living to have the experience of being alive. And what a time to be alive. This is just, it's enormous, it's overwhelming, it's scary, but I'm thankful that we're here together. I'm thankful that I woke up this morning, I felt healthy, my family's around me, and I feel this strong, uh, the strong feeling of unity that even though we're going to be facing some really difficult times that we're coming together and that's a beautiful thing and in that lane I decided that it is my belief that the candle and when you light a candle that it it helps the universe or whatever you believe in to notice and to take your prayers up so I lit a candle. I'm going to light this candle every night for each and every one of us to have health, to have peace of mind, and as always, light to your darkness. So with that, I decided we're going to do a little reading. I need to first, before I go into Lindsey Graham, and I am going to be doing Nancy Pelosi, I decided we need to have a look at Donald Trump because he was from night to day in the two media reports from day to day. Yesterday he was, you know, saying it's going to be okay. And when a female reporter asked about responsibility, he said, You're, that's a nasty question. And today it was, you know, I feel that the media has been fair and he was very calm and he looked a little bit confused and bewildered so I thought you know what let's start our first <laughs> little reading let's look into Donald Trump what has what has happened for him to change his mind and when I looked at his week in the earlier video the tower came up so there was a tower moment and I said something that was going to really affect him so I'm wondering if that's the difference with these little attitudes so Let's have a quick look. I'm going to do a five card spread, which is like a little story spread. It kind of gives you the beginning, middle, and end to, to answer a question. So let's have a look at Donald Trump and pick five cards. I hope everybody is feeling healthy and taking precautions and doing what they need to do. Oops. I got some notes there. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. And let's turn it around and see what we got, guys. The first one, we have the Page of Swords. So Donald Trump got information that made him have to think twice about the situation. So some kind of reality has been brought to him. Like somebody sat him down and said, look, you've got to understand what's happening. But there must have been something more personal for him to have come to that conclusion. We've got the, her the hermit. This is Trump having to go inside. This is not something that's easy for him because there's not a whole lot there to go inside of. He's a fairly surface ego driven man, but something, the, he had a tower moment where something has made him have to think twice. We got the Seven of Swords, so this is having to look back at something. There's a reversal of some kind of thought process. This is really interesting. Judgment. Something has come home to roost. Something has happened that has made him become aware of this. I'm wondering if the news something that made him think, fall behind, and this is judgment. Maybe somebody really close to him has contracted the C-19 and made it real to him. 
because uh, it's something that's causing judgment. It's something that's causing him to have to look at the situation. Two of swords. He's got two thoughts going on in his head. That's one more than he usually has. But I think this is him having to realize that he's got two situations happening. One is the one that he thinks about, the economy, the money, the situation of the stock market. And the other is, I believe, somebody or some, somebody close to him, a family member, has gotten sick and that's made him have to look at the, the reality of the situation. Interesting. You know, I, I think to myself oftentimes, he's so much like a little, you know, eight-year-old boy, no offense against eight-year-old boys, but you know, if an eight-year-old gets in trouble, if they get in a lot of trouble, what do they do? They run away. I wonder if as time goes by and Donald Trump gets, his, gets himself even further over his head, that he won't just say, you know what, I can't do this and walk away. I mean, he'll have an excuse of sickness or illness or maybe he'll just walk away because he just can't do it okay let's look at Lindsey Graham because I'm not comprehending him at all I looked at his numerology so he has a double nine which means he's really compassionate and he's got a humanitarian factor to him and his expression number was a six so he has a really strong connection to love and to family, but yet there's an anxi anxiety and fear around it. Um, his, you know, his sole urge number was a four foundation, so he's definitely where he's supposed to do, but I'm not understanding how he has so much compassion and humanitarian in his numbers uh, that he would turn the way that he has. So we're going to have a little quick look. Um, it seemed that up till he had a meeting with Donald Trump, he was calling Donald Trump everything under the sun. Something happened in that meeting where Lindsey Graham got burnt. Something, something. You don't turn like that. You don't do a 360 like that unless something really, really huge had to have affected him. So let's have a look at Mr. Lindsey Graham, Lindsey Olin Graham. I'll just do a five card uh, spread. One, two, three, four, five. So we have the two of pentacles so this is weighing out two situations I think this is weighing out his job with his life and as far as I know I don't believe he's married or anything so I don't think he has like a really um, I think he has an imbalance in his life where he chose work over his personal life yeah this is the ace of pentacles this is concentrating on the money aspect on the career aspect and he definitely has a, a double nine you know a strong humanitarian um, edge to him but it also means there can be quick endings quick endings quick changes of mind depending on the situation so there was definitely some back and forth some arguing some confusion for him trying to figure out how to weigh out whatever this two situations were he's longing for a time when things were more civil when things were more done in a gentlemanly way I think we all feel that and we have the four of pentacles he wants to hold on to his finances to the career he's built I think he sacrificed his own personal life for the career that he's built I'm just gonna look at this ace oh I just dropped my card the ace of Pentacles so we can have a look and see what what did he choose over the ace of Pentacles what did he choose 
to give up because of his career. Wow. Seven of Cups. So he had to give up a lot, guys. He gave up his life for work. He gave up his personal life for work. And that was held up against him. There were several things that were held up against him, but one being his personal personal choices. And he would rather die than have that come out. Hold on, I gotta pick up a card. Apologies. Oh, Mr. Graham. I think that Trump spoke to him, told him a truth about something he knew that he didn't want to get out because he has chosen his career over anything personal in his life. So let's move on and we're going to look at Nancy Pelosi. She was born March 26, 1940 and on the 26th of this month she's going to be 80 years old. Wow, guys, 80, can you imagine? God bless her, keep her healthy and safe. So um, she has the life path of, or sorry, she has a life path of seven, which is the intellect, which is somebody who has a masculine air to her. So she's very much a woman, but she's strong. She has a, um, She's learned her lessons over the years as to what it's like to be a woman in a man's world. And she has built up a, a wall around herself to protect herself, but she's very tender inside. Uh, she, also has, she also has a life, soul life uh, number of five, which is the same as the US's. So her destiny and her plan goes very much with the U.S. and she's a helper, she's a teacher, and she's definitely for the change that needs to happen in the U.S. She's going to keep pushing for it. Um, I know earlier tonight they said that they passed a bill in the Senate to try to help out for finances, but it would actually only help less than 20% because the Republicans refused to allow it to be uh, help for everybody and the Democrats had to put that in the bill. It's, I'm probably not explaining it properly, but basically even during all this difficult times and they get into the Senate, they had to dummy down the bill so that it didn't affect as many people or help as many people so that the Republicans could vote on it and get it passed. These are the challenges that poor Nancy has to put up with, but I pray, I pray that she is given the strength to get through it. So with that being said, let's have a look at Nancy and see what her, her path looks like. Especially, it's very interesting that her path happens to be the same as the U.S. So it's definitely in line, definitely destined. She was meant to be here for this time. So we have the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who is in charge, authoritative. She's going to go further in trying to help out with money. Uh, I think she's gonna be important within the Senate and kind of quietly doing her work, not causing a big rift because she's, all, she's also very aware that Politics has no place here right now. We have to be looking at getting people healthy and pushing as hard as they can against Trump and their administration to do the right thing, but their hands are tied. Her want is the four of, four of wands. So she is there for the American family. She is there for the people. She can see how people are being boxed in and are nervous but she has a plan she's working hard she has a lot of obstacles it's difficult the page of wands so there's going to be news uh, you're going to be hearing about a lot of things coming over the next few weeks there's just so much that's happening 
and we're in unprecedented times, so it's 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 going to be a lot of information. You don't have to be psychic to know that, but there's going to be so much more once we see ourselves through this. And I mean, if Trump is correct and he's you know might be in the know more than we, say in July and August. So. Nancy has the Hierophant. She has tradition and law on her side. She has the truth, the balance of democracy. That's behind her. The world. Mm. It's coming to completion. She is going to see this through. Um, it's not going to be an easy task but she will see this through she will keep pushing and she will try to do her best to again make us the beacon to the world to show to be the leader they shouldn't be the ones falling behind they should be the leaders in this so i think nancy nancy will use the common sense and her approach that she's been doing being you know being very cautious that's going to be what she's going to continue to do but she's there she's she's meant to be there she's meant to be in the position that she is in and she will keep god bless her at 80 years old she's going to keep the fight up guys so for us for us oh for us guys ten of wands there's a whole lot on our plate right now. There's a lot of weight and it's going to be a while. It's going to be some tough times coming through. It's going to be really interesting times, but we have to keep a positive thought, put out your wishes for health for everybody and realize there's nobody to blame here. We are dealing with a world pandemic. And we have to look for this. We have to look at this as an opportunity to learn lessons here and realizing that we are one world all together, but we also are small closed off communities and we need to start getting back to the basics of life and, you know, lo local resourcing. Because throughout all my cars, I keep getting the four of wands with the family inside of it. And so, although I keep referring to it as like, you know, people are boxed in, I also think that means getting back to the center of the family. If anything, this has taught us the importance of your family, your friends, and your new friends. So, wishing you light for your darkness and health and all things good, peace of mind. Take care.